Okay, so I think we're ready to start. Um, I'm Jonathan Sinclair and I'm a research associate at SAP Research Belfast. And to give you a bit of uh, context uh, and background, I'm currently working on uh, EU Project Reservoir, which looks into cloud federation. In other words, uh, enabling massive scale deployment and management of complex IT services across different domains. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about auditing for cloud computing. To address this, first I'll give a brief overview of cloud computing, then I'll describe uh, what auditing for IT is, then I'll go on to discuss um, why businesses should care about auditing and its uh, importance in addressing compliance. Um, then I'll discuss how auditing has been done previously, uh, how it's done now and how it's been done previously, um, show the difficulties for auditing uh, in regards to cloud and how it needs to address the new delivery model of services. Um, then I'll finish by highlighting the different aspects uh, of auditing and the problems to address in cloud in reference to these areas, and also uh, identify the key challenges in auditing cloud. Okay, so to start, um, I'm just going to give uh, a, a definition. There's many definitions out there on cloud. I'm just going to give uh, a definition I have on cloud. So clouds are uh, a large pool of easily usable and uh, accessible virtualized resources such as hardware deployment uh, development platforms and services. Um, these uh, resources can be dynamically reconfigured to adjust to a variable load, um, so hence scalability, uh, also allowing for optimum resource utilization. Um, so this pool of resources uh, is typically exploited by a pay-per-use model. Uh, in which um, infrastructure providers uh, are offered guarantee by means of customized SLAs. So highlighted in this model, you can see there are five essential characteristics, uh, three delivery models and four deployment models. Um, characteristics, obviously, the on-demand on self-service, ubiquitous network access, location-independent resource pooling, rapid elasticity, and uh, the pay-per-use uh, payment model. And then finally, I'd like to highlight also uh, the, the importance uh, of where auditing addresses and how it overlies the entire framework. So it addresses uh, five key issues, compliance, governance, regulation, security, and risk. So now on to a definition of what IT auditing is. So there's no single universal definition of IT auditing, but... Uh, this one by Ron Weber um, you know, highlights the, the, the key facts. So it's a process of collecting and evaluating evidence to determine whether a computer system safeguards the assets, maintains data integrity, and achieves organizational goals effectively and consumes the resources efficiently. So in order to uh, uh, enable uh, auditing in businesses, um, we require a, a process of tracing and logging significant events that take place, um, and to do this, uh, we, we need to collect data during system runtime and have the ability to analyze the, these events. Um, therefore, we see that uh, IT audit is, is important uh, as it is uh, in place to evaluate the mechanisms for securing assets and maintaining both data integrity and operational efficiency. Um, and it's a vital tool in validating and uh, securing systems. So, as you can see, we have different types of compliance laws and policies that, that businesses need to address. There's uh, financial compliance, regulatory compliance, and security compliance. And there, I uh, sort of identify some of those. Um, and spe uh, specifically, uh, in regulatory compliance, there's Sarbanes-Oxley. And in order to address it uh, in cloud uh, for auditing, um, we'd have to address the ability to trace uh, where data is, um, where it goes, where it's transferred to, uh, and who accesses it, so uh, all the pro processes uh, of the data. And moving on, then, just why do businesses care? So this is, a, I will discuss here the main topics that auditing facilitates, uh, being compliance, governance and risk, and security and uh, present a, a use case for data protection laws, uh, just as an example of all three. So firstly, compliance. Um, 
so compliance uh, addresses regulations, and a regulation is a principle, rule, or law designed to control or govern the conduct of businesses. And um, there are five uh, key uh, five key regulation areas.